Just because you got a traffic ticket doesn't mean you have to pay it. Not if I have anything to say about it. Here are three ways to beat a traffic ticket in court. Let's start with what not to do. I shouldn't have to pay this ticket. I wasn't the only one drag racing. Nope, saying the officer selected you out of dozens of other people who committed a crime doesn't absolve you of guilt. And now you've just admitted to the crime. Next. I didn't mean to commit a crime. I didn't even know that drag racing was illegal. <laughs> Wrong. Ignorance of the law is also not a valid excuse for breaking it. This won't work either. As this cop is a liar, he's no good. Look at him. <laughs> That's also not a good idea. Unless you have hard evidence to back up your claim, the judge will more than likely side with the cop. <laughs> even if the cop is a jerk. So now that you know what not to do, here's what to do. Tip number one, get the officer to skip the court date. What's the best way to get out of a ticket? You have a constitutional right to address your accuser in court, but if the cop that assigned you a ticket is a no-show, then your ticket will likely get dismissed. So we gotta make sure your cop doesn't show up for their court date. Yeah, permanently. Whoa, not like that. Aw, I never get to do anything. Here are a few ways you can increase the odds that your officer is a no-show. Your original court date is likely a day your officer will be there for multiple tickets. Simply postpone your date. This will increase the likelihood that the cop won't show up out of inconvenience. In some states, you're entitled to a trial by mail. You submit a letter explaining why you're innocent and your cop has a lot more paperwork to do. Officers are less likely to go through the process if it's entirely paperwork. Ugh, this isn't worth it. I'm getting lunch. Hey, Sarge, did you recalibrate the radar gun yet? Ugh, can I do it later? Which brings us to tip number two. Call their equipment into question. If a cop gives you a speeding ticket with a radar gun, there's a possibility it wasn't calibrated properly. Radar guns like these need to be calibrated usually every 30 to 60 days, and in some states, every time after a ticket is issued with them. And they usually must be recalibrated with two of these tuning forks. Tuning forks typically must be used when recalibrating radar guns. Always ask if they were, because if not, you may have an opportunity to argue that your ticket is based on false evidence and should be dismissed. Oh, we have a caller. Yeah, I'm a cop and I don't really care for those forks. That's what we're counting on. How would you even know if the radar guns were calibrated or not? Excellent question. What you need is a discovery request. This will allow you to get access to the officer's notes, radar gun instruction manuals, and calibration records. Your Honor, the records indicate that the radar gun used on my client hasn't been calibrated since 1999. Gavel, gavel, case dismissed. You must send a specific written request via certified mail to the police department and local prosecutor. For more information on what forms you'll need and how to make your discovery request, contact your local clerk at your court's office and they'll give you what you need. You want to ask for description of the device used, serial number, and date of last calibration, the instruction manual for said device, distance between the officer with the radar gun and the vehicle, any other records related to the radar gun, and the officer's name. Thanks a bunch. Wait, wait, I can tell you more. Please don't forget to use this catch-all in your request. All other relevant documents and other evidence in the government's possession. If you knew you weren't speeding, you can use all this information to build your defense. Hopefully this request will dismiss the ticket, but if not, this information will be very helpful with tip number three. So you move the trial date. You requested discovery, but you're still going to court. Here's what you do to fight it to the very end. It's time to challenge the officer. What? Don't worry, I'll coach you. You're gonna wanna raise doubt about the government's evidence against you. If you're going to cross-examine an officer, you have to be prepared. You must research the law regarding your alleged traffic violation. Gather your evidence, eyewitnesses from the passenger seats, pedestrians who were at the scene, photographs of the area where the ticket was issued. Diagrams, diagrams, diagrams. Juries and judges like pretty pictures. Now I know the first half of this cross-examination isn't going our way, but I know my team has been training hard. If you prepare your questions, gather your evidence, then by gosh, we might just win over a judge and save yourself $250. So let's go out there and cross-examine. Can you tell the court exactly where you were when you saw my alleged traffic violation? Yeah, I was in the car ahead of you. I saw it in my rear view. So is it possible that your attention would have been on the road ahead of you, making you unable to draw a conclusion on the cars behind you? Uh, yeah, well... Yeah! So just follow these three steps if you were issued a traffic ticket and you want to fight it in court. I'm Law by Mike. Remember to like and subscribe for more legal tips.